Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you're watching this video. Welcome to the Dunning Fine Arts Center. Uh, open house, sort of, so to speak. Um, my name is Mr. Todd. I'm the Director of Youth Education here at the Dunning Fine Arts Center. Uh, it's coming up on 23 years I've been here. Um, we've greatly expanded. We've had wonderful summer camps over the summer. Those of you that have been here before can attest to that. Um, but, as you probably have guessed, there are some changes. So, I'm gonna take this off just so you can see my mouth. There you go. But, don't be surprised when you show up and all the staff, all the teachers, all the student assistants are wearing masks. And what we're expecting too is that anybody coming in the building is gonna have to wear a mask. So, so don't be surprised. So, this is our atrium. We have a north entrance over here. We have a southern entrance over here. And then at the other end of the building, we have an entrance that goes into the Children's Hands-On Museum. What we're gonna do before each week of camp starts, we're gonna send you guys a map of the building circling where we want you guys to enter based on where your children's first class is gonna be. This will help control some of the flow through the building. Um, before you get into the building though, we're gonna greet you outside at one of these three entrances and we're gonna have our health cart that's available. And so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna be asking you to sanitize your hands and then we're gonna be, this is just a prop, checking your temperature. We gotta make sure that everybody's cool. Temperatures are below 100.4 because unfortunately the art center's been closed since the middle of March. And that's the downside is there's a lot of issues with canceling classes and such. The plus side though is that we know we don't have the virus in the building at this point. So we would like to keep that way as you probably do yourself. So we're gonna be checking people's temperatures. That's what we're expecting and then when you have your mask on, you bring your mask, then you're gonna come in and we'll direct you to where you need to drop your child off. When you get to the studio, the teacher will be there. They'll be wearing their mask. They'll have a clipboard with your child's name on it. They're gonna ask you to sign in and then we'll have your child's name tag in that studio. For the end of the day, it's gonna be kind of the reverse process. We're gonna let you know where your child's last class is and then you're gonna go into that classroom through those entrances and they're gonna ask for your ID. We're still gonna be photo IDing people. And even we're trying to be safe with the germs, we still gonna maintain our safety as far as IDs and such. Um, so after you show your ID, then you can collect your child and head out one of the other exits. All right, so let's check out some of the studios. So if you're coming in to drop off in the morning or if you're coming in the afternoon to pick up, you're gonna notice we have tape on the floor. Six feet, that's the magic number. So if someone's here, you line up here. You probably have seen these in the grocery stores everywhere. Make your way up when it clears out. After you sign out, you can exit through this doorway so you don't have to go back through. So that'll be nice and easy for you. And you step up here, teacher will be here greeting you with the clipboard. You're either gonna be signing your child in and then your child's gonna get their name tag. Or if you're picking up from this studio, they're gonna be asking you for your photo ID. You're gonna be signing them out and then they're gonna go with you. So, as we sneak into the studios, you notice how we have everything spaced out, six feet. That's one of the things that we did to uh, adjust the camps. Basically, we have, our maximum capacity is over 200 children here in seven different camps. So when we shut down in March, the expectation for us kind of get a read on what was happening, we figured it was the safest to go ahead and limit our camp numbers to a minimum, I mean a maximum of eight in a studio class, in a group. Some camps, it's just one group, that'll be eight. Some camps have four groups. Each one of those groups, it's only gonna be eight. It's only gonna be eight, only gonna be eight. So there'll be a teacher, a student assistant, so I would, and not at any point, Will these groups be larger than 10? And that's within the CDC guidelines. So as you look around, we have our table set up. We have, oh, there's the health cart you're gonna find. Hand sanitizers, sprays, uh, peroxide. We have a lot of peroxide, so we're good with the peroxide. We have our posters for the CDC. Their guidelines, which actually, they've only added two or three more since what we normally do here at the Art Center. We like to say, we like to keep 
uh, DFAC summer camps happy and healthy. And over the years, what we say is make sure you cover your mouth when you cough, wash your hands, and don't touch your face. So the CDC has just added a few extra ones like wearing the mask, keeping that distance, staying home when you're sick. So the most important cleaning area, not so much the hand sanitizers and all the sprays, it's really over here, which we have all the time. We have our sinks are marked off, two at a sink at a time, that way someone waits here, while the person's here washing with our soap and water. Of course, the CDC recommends that's the best way, washing your hands with soap and water for, for 20 seconds. It's washing this way, washing the backs of your hands, washing your fingertips, washing your thumbs. Uh, we recommend maybe singing happy birthday twice for you. So either way, this is the most important cleaning station that we have. We have a night cleaning crew that will be cleaning every day, a deep clean at night. We also have throughout the day uh, with the peroxide, regular cleanings of the high touch areas like uh, door handles and things like that. For the most part though, our studio doors and uh, other doors are gonna be propped open so they're not gonna have to be touched to begin with. So let's sneak on back out and take a look at the other end. Alrighty, this is the kids entrance. This would be the southwest end, one of the three main entrances that you would be using. We were at the west end of the building. We had that north entrance, we had the south entrance. Now this is our southeast entrance where there's a big blue wall with a circle. This is the entrance where it comes into our children's hands-on museum. Now as you come in, well, there we go. We have another one. We have another uh, health, healthy cart. So as you come in, outside once again, if you come in this entrance, if this is where we're directing you to drop off or pick up, um, there's gonna be somebody outside the door with the thermometer, hopefully, not the, uh, not the uh, Doctor Who sonic screwdriver. Um, they'll ask you to sanitize your hands, they'll come in and sign in, sign out, it's gonna be the same procedure. As we come in here, you meet Miss Shannon. You've probably talked with her, or emailed with her. The bright smiling face is gonna help you with everything you need to know, with payments and questions and uh, authorized pickups and all that kind of stuff. Because remember, if you have on the pickup list somebody that's not listed there, we're not gonna release them to them. So you gotta check with us, make sure that everybody you're having pick up your child is on our list. Because if they're not, we're not gonna let them get picked up. So this is the hands-on area. It is one of our studio spaces. One of the classes meets here, but they're gonna be meeting in the theater area. Once again, that's gonna be limited to eight children as well. All the soft sculpture type pieces in here, fabrics, uh, the foam blocks have all been taken out. So there's nothing in here but the hard surfaces as far as activities. So if we come this way, we're gonna sneak into where the Mini Masters Camp meets. This is our Mini Master Studio, which is normally a gallery during the school year. We have our table spaced six feet, and then the floor mats. We also, if you notice, have the blue spots. That's where the Mini Masters are going to camp out when they have their story time or their sharing time or a cool down time when they watch a video related to the theme of the week. These are going to be their personal tables where they create their wonderful artistic masterpieces. Alrighty, now we find ourselves in the clay lab. This side of the clay lab is where the art squad meets and they use the wheels to create their pottery. As you notice, just like our uh, other studios, we have the spacing six feet between wheels to wheel. It's actually seven feet this way across from each wheel to wheel. Sinks and soap. Remember, that's one of the most important things the CD says is make sure you wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. Um, when each child comes in the studio, whether it's the clay lab, whether it's one of the painting studios, 2D studio, 3D studio, iPads, whichever camp it is, as soon as they come in, they're going to go to the sink. They're going to wash their hands with soap and water. So we're all starting out nice and fresh. When they leave the studio, they're going to be doing the same thing so that they leave nice and fresh. Um, there's that uh, healthy cart again behind me. Uh, the younger camp, hand building with clay, where they make all their critters and little bowls and pinch pots and all that kind of stuff. That's gonna be in the join, adjoining studio in there. So 
We like to ask you guys to go ahead and start practicing at home, washing your hands for 20 seconds, doing the fronts, backs, all that business. Practice makes perfect. Also that six foot distancing, maybe you guys can come up with some kind of game. I don't know, someone's like a monster or maybe a hot lava or hot potato or something, I don't know. Um, you can turn it into a game, but if the, these children can start go ahead and getting into the frame of mind that they need to keep six feet between other people, um, it's gonna make it a whole lot easier for us to operate in camp and provide the safest and healthiest environment for you and your kiddos. So if you have any questions, you can always email us. Um, we're in and out until we get the go ahead that we can occupy and open the building. Of course, we'll, we'll be here and ready for you when the county says we can. Thank you.